Instant recovery is one of those things that Veeam is known for. In this segment, I'm going to demo three important capabilities. Instantly recovering a SQL Server database, instantly recovering any image-based backup to Hyper-V, and instant recovery of a file share. Let's take a look at a quick demo. What we're looking at here is Veeam 1. This is an enterprise app that I use in my environment, and it is having a SQL Server provide the data for this enterprise app. Now this SQL Server is running on a physical Windows Server that's being backed up by the Veeam agent for Windows. Uh, hello, this is Rick. Hey Rick, will you delete the test database? I got what I needed from it. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now, but okay. Well, I'm sure we've all been there. Uh, you get a little distracted. Uh, let's go delete that test database real quick. Oh, whoops, uh, uh oh, I've actually deleted the prod database. That's gonna be a problem. What am I gonna do? Well, no big deal. My enterprise app will likely be broken here any minute now because I've deleted the database. But remember I said this enterprise app there it is it's broken its database is backed up by veeam agent for microsoft windows so no big deal you'll see that the prod database is gone the test database is still there no big deal what we're looking at here is the veeam explorer for sql server and i have that database backed up now the newest way that you can recover data with veeam is instant recovery of these sql server databases now this is also available for Oracle databases. I'm going to go ahead and launch Instant Recovery for this SQL database. Now all of the Instant Recovery techniques at Veeam, they all have a similar notion of a switchover. This is basically closing the loop of an Instant Recovery task. I can schedule it for a certain point of time, I can let it be managed automatically, or I can even manually have the switchover be done. Let's go ahead and do this. Now what's going to happen here is this particular database, and here's the database files actually right here, the MDFs and the LDFs, those are the files on the actual SQL Server that I accidentally deleted. What's going to happen here is that Veeam Explorer for SQL Server is going to be doing this publish and copy here. This will take just a few seconds and I will have that SQL Server database republished back to the actual SQL Server, and this is done through an iSCSI pointer into the backup files. Now the beautiful thing is, I don't have to do anything to make this work. That's the beautiful thing about the ease of use for this recovery, and you can see right there, just in that short amount of time, the database has been published back to the SQL Server. So let's go double check here. Let's refresh and we should have our prod database back. Beautiful stuff. Now let's give the application a second to recover. But you know what? It could have been a lot worse. Deleting the database is one thing. But remember I said this is a physical Windows server that I'm backing up with VMAGENT for Windows. If I had a complete loss of hardware device scenarios, I have the ability now to instantly recover this to any VMware or Hyper-V environment. This is really powerful because this also includes Windows 10 Hyper-V. So keep in mind a situation where all you have is the backups. You have the ability to recover on basically any computer. But it doesn't stop there. If you have Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure in play, or the same for AWS, you can actually have your backups in the cloud available for similar capabilities. This is one backup policy from Veeam Backup from Microsoft Azure, and likewise, I could instantly recover that to VMware or Hyper-V, or even to another cloud account or to the other cloud. The portability options are endless. So much power. Let's go back and check in on our application. So Veeam 1 is back here, and guess what? Completely transparently, we were able to get the application back up and running. People might not have even noticed this type of outage. Amazing high-speed recovery techniques. Now, the other side of instant recovery that I want to show you real quickly is around our file share backups. So I've already backed up a file share or a NAS device, this air data share. Instant recovery is now also available for file shares and I've already launched that before we started this session. So I'm going to take a look here and show you the properties. Now, it only took 11 seconds 
very, very quick to launch that recovery. Let's take a look at this. What I've actually done is I have a pointer, an emulated SMB file share into the backups so that if I needed some of this data, all these different applications, and these are all file folders of data, of videos, 4K videos, so it's a lot of data. But if I needed to instantly get access to it, I can do that right here. Let's take a look at Silicon Lift. So here's a bunch of videos. Now what I can do is actually just open up these videos and th these are a 4K video that goes right from the backup file. So this is a very powerful way that I can have yet another high speed recovery technique. And this is going right again from an emulated SMB file share right on the backup storage. What I've shown is an easy to use instant recovery engine for SQL Server databases, as well as the ability to restore any image-based backup to Hyper-V and a quick look at file share recovery.